hi so this is the final part of the three part video where i try to get the building footprints of glenara so in this video i'm going to use mapbox use a create a figure ground map um, and try to extrude it in 3ds max and get the buildings that i want so this is a uh, map box and um, you can uh, take your own time to go through all these um, uh, features on map box and uh, for to create the figure ground map first you have to create your own account and then you go to the studio you load the studio from here As you can see, I have already created some um, maps before, but I'm just going to start a new one. I'm going to load um, a basic map. So I'm going to locate my area. So this is Glenara. And you can see all these layers are on, which is on the map. So whatever is on the map is on this side. And you have to turn off all these layers except for the buildings. So that's what I'm going to do here. It's like Photoshop, you just turn off and on the layers. So since it's zoomed out pretty much, you can't see anything. So you have to zoom in a bit. Um, this happens in Mapbox. So this is the site. This is the road where I want to get the buildings, foot, building footprints. As you can see the buildings are clearly seen here so what you have to do is you just have to go and change the color of the building from here colors um, if you want the green spaces um, also you could turn it into black or you can just turn it off but here I'm trying to get the uh, box as well so let's see So for the buildings, uh, you have to unlock this and you can override it if you want. Turn everything to black, even the outline. There we have it. So you can set the zoom level because once you zoom out too much what mapbox does it disappears the buildings so you can adjust that level too but i think for me this zoom level is okay so i'm not gonna change that and these are the areas where you can play with opacity and everything So it kind of reduces the opacity once you zoom out and there you have the outline I'm just going to make everything uh, black and from the print option on the top right this will open you can set your width and height and then just uh, select your format and export so in 3 ds Max, I'm creating a plane. You can set the segments to 200 uh, or 500 and just grab the image that you like. As you can see, I only have the buildings that are on the edge of the road because I tried to use the full map and it was too big. It kept, kept crashing my 3 ds Max. So so I just edited in Photoshop and removed the rest of the buildings except for the ones that I want. Go to Modifier panel, add UVW map, bitmap, fit, drag it again, open. And from the plan you can uh, fit your map to the area that you want to create. So it's like a tile, so you can adjust to whichever area that you want.
go to modifier again create this place and here add the image to the map just drag it and add it to the map use existing mapping tick and then here you can adjust the strength mine uh, is pretty big so just gonna put it to 0 0.05 so this is what happens when you add the strength it creates sort of like a um, excluded version of the 2d map which we will extract from this so go to section create a section drag it over to the image and fit it to the image from the modifier panel and then bring it up so that it slices the extruded part Sa make sure to save it and then press create shape because it might crash so as you can see it has created an outline of the buildings which I'm dragging out but it looks pretty heavy so to fix that we add a spline relax which will reduce the amount of knots uh, you can adjust it to any amount that you like but the lower the higher the amount is it makes it more um, smooth but we want the edges on the building so I'll just leave it as it is and then add an optimized spline which also makes it less heavy this also reduces the number of knots so once everything is set go to extrude or bevel I did an extrude so this is the buildings around the Oakley Road you can adjust your height and this is how it looks like thank you